years. And to not see him, as Laura mentioned, on first or second team in this conference is baffling. See Galen Smith in the starting lineup for Alabama. His first start was yesterday. He had eight points on the inside. Count it and the foul. Shot fake. Ingram on the drive. Nice job by Dazon Ingram. And once again, Mustafa. Rebounding the SEC Player of the Year, Grant Williams, statistically. As they've been throwing around that stat, here's Spencer. And it drops, and he goes to the line. Got a little bit better momentum, Kayvon Allen. Being aggressive like Alabama is today. Smith with the finish. Here's Bryce Brown against Petty. Bryce Brown. Jared Harper at the point at 21 against Bama last time out. Mitchell for three. Harper weaving, then kicking. Extra pass. And tapped out back to Harper. Here's Brown. Couldn't get the bounce. Yet another chance and a score underneath from. The reason why he's able to do that is he wants it more. He puts himself in that position test, uses his upper body strength to create space. More from Sexton. He is so explosive. Tracking and now getting out to Brown. Three ball wouldn't go. Rebound by Key. Up ahead, Sexton. Good pass. Harper. Nice job to get there, but it wouldn't go for him. Look at the hands of Brown. Line it up. Couldn't put it down, but little Jared Harper from beyond the arc. And that last game in Cameron, after Marvin Bagley started getting going underneath, the ball not waiting for the basketball. Auburn has five offensive rebounds in this game. Point lead now for the Tigers. Nice answer that time by Colin Sexton. And Alabama has cut it to three. And just like that, Deshaun Murray puts... They still only attempted three free throws. Aaron, nice work that time. Transition. Alabama continues to struggle outside the paint. Just one of ten this afternoon. Sexton knocks down the three for Al. Now spacing the floor for Colin Sexton. Harper on the feed to Heron. Good work from the Stiles out for Brown. Petty. Still has been so off, but second chance just sitting there was days on. It's about the emotion of the game. And for Bruce Pearl, he's trying to channel the emotion. That pregame speech we showed you, it's all about emotion. It's all about believing in yourself. You dominate the glass as a team. Almost every player that has checked in the game for Auburn has come back and grabbed at least one rebound. Brown, long three. And the long rebound, just hoping for something before we hit double zeros. As point six remains here. And Auburn off to a very good start. You know how much that Brown challenged by Jones. And another turnover, two straight trips now. Sexton. His third of the day. See from New York and Kansas and K-State at 7 o'clock in the Big 12. Big question mark there is Dean Wade going to play. He's got a reported foot injury that could make the 6'10 forward. And a rebound with Hall. Again from Sexton. And here comes Sexton and Knox. And he breaks the Alabama freshman scoring mark with that three. And from the corner now, it is Dazon Ingram and Alabama. Eight against Auburn. 
and it just won't go for the Tigers. Their last made field goal was with 127 left in the first half. Smith cleans it up and the foul. And still an 0 for in the second half for Auburn. 0 for 9 shooting. And finally it drops for John Petty. And a half left in the first half. Heron, that wouldn't go either. And Sexton on the go. Tied running, kicking to the corner. Petty now driving and in for the Tigers. Sexton lines it up and puts it down. Colin Sexton. Start creating tempo. Finally, Mustafa Heron now in two SEC tourney games. Okiki, good effort. Sexton knocks it away. Behind the back, wrap around, and climbing the ladder is Dante Hall. National spotlight. Continuing, waking up early in the morning, trying to get better at different aspects of his. There's Ingram, past Heron, and scores. Thirty-point game for Colin Sexton. Junior Texas Tech, the other Big 12 semi. That'll be on ESPN two tonight. That should be a very good one. See, a lot of channel surfing between and eight NCAA teams, which Lenardi says is how it projects right now. Sexton fading away from 15 was nearly there. Tap and wouldn't drop. Smith secures it. Has the putback. with one loss. And that'll do it. The young bull, Colin Sexton, might be changing his name to Mr. March because so far, St. Louis has been his kind of town. He's got that hop in his step. He is fired up. A 31-point day.